Hello guys, well, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys had a wonderful day today. And finally, I will be doing part three of Raiding Plants vs. Zombies ba Battle for Neighborville Zombies this time. I, I, I already finished the plants. Make sure you go check that out. I know the second one's not good, but make sure you check out the first one to kind of get to get to get caught up with everything. But before I I start the video, I greatly apologize. This took months. I kind of forgot about this until I remembered it when I was trying to think about ooh, to summon summon new games on my channel and also some other things. But uh, but uh, but uh, but with that out the way, let's get started. Also, also before we actually start the video, I I I will be doing a six six in uh, the in this part and in the final part, aka the fourth parts. So I will be going through this side, through this side, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this will be for the second part, and then this will be for the uh third part but uh, with that out the way let's get started and for number one we have foot soldier now personally foot soldier is my most favorite zombie on the zombie side he's really good and his upgrades are are amazing like for example the uh the the uh ammo thing uh mabob this pretty much increases your how how much ammo you have by um by 40, by 58, I think. Yeah, 58. And for, and uh, and uh, for the other ones, one is the rocket leap, which pretty much increases the distance you go with your rocket jump, which is really good if a, if a, if a, if a you wanna ex, if a you wanna escape some um like, plant surrounding you. But my most favorite one has to be Bob. Uh, bottomless where if you vanish a plant you get so much ammo back uh obviously you don't get your max ammo back but uh, but uh, sometimes i have been on a killing spree just because of this and then after all that is over i i would just be reloading even though reloading by itself is kind of slow. This upgrade's really good, and I think if I'm correct, you get it uh, with the specialist uh, elite or super elite upgrade. But it's really good. But though his abilities are not that good. So, for example, the smoke bomb. It's not the best, in my opinion, because one downside is that it doesn't deal that much damage. Now much people actually go through it. So even if you get some people in it, their first instinct is to escape it. So you won't really deal that uh, much damage with it. But if it's with robots, you're there's a good chance of getting it. And for the rocket, it's really good. I'd say one downside is that the like like it does have some blood like it does have some splash but it's not the best splash d uh, damage and there and half of the time when i would use it it would not even like vanish plants sometimes and it's slow moving so no matter what there's a good chance you won't actually hit it but besides from that it's a good class i would suggest bringing him up first to master on the zombie side and he's just a really good plant i mean zombie and next up we have the imp now he's not the best attack wise and health but he's really decent i would say his abilities are not the best like this one it just increases the size of the one gravity grenade it's not the best i would say and for this one it just makes you faster and I know there's some other ones but imp by itself he's only good with his mech now I know not not to, not too much people may 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 think that but hear me out 
he's good from the fact that he's good at he, he he's he's good at speed and then he has like a small double jump even though the double jump floats him a little but doesn't really bring him that far and and it, but you can kind of do it well 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 floating i'd say his his main attack it's good but when you're trying to look around it's not the best because it's kind of slow but besides from that he's a decent class but for his abilities this is weak damage but if you have a really big group of plants you could really do something and for this it's decent it's not the best timing wise and and for the mech it's slow when it enters but there's a reason for that and it's a major increase from the last game where like he had the like infinite ammo with one small little um uh, overheat but the overheat would not appear and this is a bit faster i guess i would say but it's still a tiny bit slower and for his abilities this is really good you can like move freely it's a tiny bit slow but but uh, besides from that it's really good and for this, it's just a ground pound. It doesn't have the biggest hitbox, but it has some splash. And obviously you could ignite. It does, you can't really jump or double jump with it, but, but, but it's still really good if you want to get, 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 get a horde plant. So I'd say he's a decent class. Maybe his health is not that bad. And I think if I am correct, he, he only gets like... Um, 25 plus health if a, uh, scientist over heals him, I guess I could say. But it's a decent class, I would say. It's not the best. But now let's move on. Also, before I move on, I forgot to say about the soldier, a, a, a about his health. It's not the best. It's, it, it, it could bring him far. And, but one downside is that, I think if I'm correct... His health, when you boost it, it's not the best. I, I think it's like, if you boost its health, it gets 170, but it's not the best in my opinion. But now, let's move on. Next up, we have Super Brains. I'd say he's a decent class. Maybe his power-ups or his upgrades are, are, are not that good. I'd say early game, like with mine, he's not the best. His abilities are not that good, but some other ones uh, are like uh, stick and move, move faster for 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 a short time after landing a three hit combo with a heroic fist. If you don't know what that is, that's just the main primary attack. It's not the best because you rarely actually hit that because plants mainly move out the way or if it's a real player they might vanish you first or it's uh, like a and and of plus the punching has a small hitbox so it's not really gonna hit anybody and for this it just it's it, it is kind of like the the one smoke bomb, but though it kind of like lingers there, I guess. Yeah, like kind of like lingers there for a short second. Kind, kind of like the dealing some fire damage. It's not the best. But what really makes him better is this. It has a small shield. And there's no small delay when you look around. It's really good. And... It does take some time to kind of like retract the the shield and obviously it does have to recharge when you do kind of destroy it or when a plant destroys it. Now for the punching, it's not that fast so there's a rare chance of you actually pulling that off. Now for the abilities, I already did this, fast recharge and it's may not hit, 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 hit anybody. 
Now, one thing to note, if you charge it up, you could, you could kind of, like, make a, like, a long-range, like, a long-range fist. It's not bad, but it's not good. And for the abilities, this is kind of weak from the fact that it's not that long, and it won't do enough damage, and the plants will probably just vanish you, but it does kind of stop the plants from attacking for a while. And for the end of for the final move, it's decent now to say. Like you kind of like get a jump on the enemies and kind of like scare them a bit. I'd say one downside is that it kind of doesn't make you move that fast. And if you move forward and want to go somewhere else, there's a good chance you won't go anywhere. So it's a decent one. And for his health, it's not that bad, but. It's not that good, I would say, because with slow punching, his abilities aren't that bad, but it's, but they're not that good. You could possibly get some vanishes with this, but I just wouldn't see myself playing Super Brains a lot. And for the next one, we we have 80s action hero. Now, he's decent, I would say. His abilities are not that bad, like, for example leg day it's just it makes him go a bit faster and like jump um uh, and uh, jump a bit farther when uh, you use it so it's not that bad but it's still not that good and for the bowmaster it just you know, like kind of like slows down the one recharge when you do a a tech enemy with this now, for his abilities, this doesn't have the best, like, attack range, but it does lock on plants, so that could be kind of good. I'd say one downside is that if you want to get a full recharge, there's a good chance you might get vanished from the fact that it's kind of slow exclusively when you're on the third stage. The, the, the first stage is, like, kind of fast, but not really. And you can kind of hold it for a little while until the game just automatically just pulls it uh, back and releases it. And it doesn't have no extra damage, but besides from when you do launch it for 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 the default damage. Now for the other moves, it's this. This is decent, I'd say. You could get out of situations like this, but it, it has a small hitbox, so. Don't expect to, well, this may hit opponents, but it won't be that strong. And for the final ability, it's pretty good, I would say. It is slow, and it is kind of fast when you try looking around. But I wouldn't see myself using it a lot, and plants could easily get, get a one-up on you if you are not that fast. And it does have splash damage, but not the best. And... If you want to get multiple vanishes with it, it's possible to, but it's not the best, I would say. And for his health, it's pretty good for a class like this. I'd say one downside is, I think I think if I'm correct, the one, re the one bonus health, all it is is just 185 HP you have, so it's not the best. Oh, oh yeah, and also I forgot to, to, and, 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 and I think, and I think if I'm correct, his bonus health is two, uh, two hundred twenty, I think, but he's a decent class, so I wouldn't really play him a lot, his, he's weak in damage, but let's move on. And next up is, uh, Eli and and next up is the electroside. Now he's not bad, but he's not good damage wise. His upgrades are not that bad. Like like this one, it's really good if uh, you're in a horde or like plants surrounding you. It kind of like when you like re reload. It it kind of like creates like a shock around you. It's not strong, but it's at least something. And for his next one, it is the capture, 
it's like it's 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 just sending the enemies farther with your um a funky bouncer it's not the best but it's decent i would say and for the final one it it is the cooling spark all it is is just it it's not bad hey his special deals a lot of damage, but all it is is just like, um, when you vanish a plant, it's a faster cooldown, which could be useful, it does a lot of damage, but I wouldn't see myself using it, and I think, and I think if I'm correct, it does pull in plants, and it's decent damage, it deals like 25 damage, I think, per 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 hit but not for the ability so the first one is the um magnet i think that's what it is now it just pulls plants away they could still vanish you so it's not the best and for his oh uh, well i would say a uh, uh, moving or or so you could get distance is the electro one now it's it's decent. I think future upgrades kind of maybe it it kind of deals some damage when you uh, get near someone or like go 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 into someone. Now it doesn't go through plants, obviously, so you can't just clip through walls with it. So if a plant is there, it won't really do anything, and you'll just be stuck there. But it does make you invulnerable to any attacks for the period of time. I don't know how long. And it doesn't have the best cooldown, but it's pretty good. And also, if I am correct, you can cancel it out to kind of like make it a bit shorter. But it takes a long while to, to actually stop it. And for its final ability, it's not bad. It kind of really deals with the uh, big crowds it's not the best i would say but it's decent and for his main attack it does stun plants but it's not the best damage but it does kind of like uh like like a zap off to other plants now the zapping off to other plants part it doesn't deal the best damage but it deals damage enough to kind of like uh, stun them, I, 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 I think if I'm correct, and it has a lot of range as well, like, you could honestly get people from far away, but it's not the best, I, 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 I would say, and, and, of, and for health wise, it's decent, it does, he does a lot of damage, so it would make sense for this elf, and it's pretty much just the same thing for, for foot soldier, for the b -b -b bonus health, but now let's move on. Now for our final one, it is Captain Deadbeard. Now, he's not the best damage-wise. He, he's just another cactus. And his one specials. I like this one because it pretty much makes you go faster and launches you higher. So so if you want to, you you could get up at the at ledges. Now it's not the best, I would say. But it's decent. And for the other one, it is freebie. Now, this is decent, I would say. It could kind of help you out if you're, like, sniping people from, like, max range. So, so, you, could, so you could get max damage. It's not the best, but it's decent. And for the final one, it is the moving ke keg. It's not the best, I would say. It's just, like, a helping you move faster. It could help you out because the one durability of it, it it's not the best but it kind of makes you a bit faster but though it's pretty good i would say but now let's move but but now let's move on to his abilities so first of all we have the anchor one now all it does is just bring you like higher places now it does have a a limited reach so it's not that good and for the second one it's obviously the one um, parrot, like the cactus. Now this also does have a cooldown. It has some fast shot range, but it's pretty good. And when you zoom in, it's not the best 
um, wise of moving. And if it gets attacked once, it's dead. That's the thing. And there's a small chance of it kind of living. But there's a good chance you won't really survive with it. So it's decent. And uh, for his abilities, they, they, they just move him up and down. But for his other ability, it, it, it is the... It's kind of like the cactus one just launching a missile. It sh it shoots one, but it kind of like shoots another one for 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 some extra damage. So it's really good. And the one um um a time timing you have with it, it's decent. But you, but the thing is, you won't be be able to use it a lot because slow recharge and. Obviously, with 5 health, I'm not sure where you're going with it. And for the final ability, we have the uh, Barrel Blast, uh, uh, I'll just say. Now, it's decent, but one thing, when you det when you kind of like detonate it or like light the fuse, it really boosts up in speed if you have that one upgrade. It's not the best, because... The plants can kind of make it not happen if you kind of destroy the barrel, bar barrel before that, even if you have it active. So, it's pretty good, I would say. And for the main moves, it it is the... This is not the best, it kind of... But one thing is, it, it does kind of, a, like, go, go for other plants. So, like, it kind of, like, lingers, I guess I'd say. So... It's decent, I would say. And for the zoom in thing, it's just like cactus. I'm not sure what, 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 what to say. I'd say one downside is that it does take a lot of uh, ammo away, including the main attack, I think. Yeah, like it takes away four. And the reloading speed, it's not the best. It's It could have been a bit faster, but, 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 but. But aside from that, it's really good. And for health-wise, it's just 100. It's not the greatest, but it's not the best. And I think if I'm correct, you get 130 health if you get g g g get the max thing. But now let's go back. But guys, that's all for this v video. Make sure you guys smash the like button, ring the bell, and subscribe. Now, a better one in this uh, one, I'd say it's Foot Soldier. Way better damage, and like the upgrades I have, he has way better upgrades. Like the one, um, uh, uh, uh bottomless, that's really good. Including this one up here, and that could really be a beast. This one's decent, but it's not the best, but I'd say it's really good. And my least favorite has probably got to be, um, Super Brains. He has a really slow recharge, and the punching is really slow, so I'm not sure who you're going to hit with it, but it's not the best. But uh, with that out the way, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Also, I maybe may pull out the final part of this. I'm not sure.